you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Mm, focus, Phineas. Halcyon's going to collapse until unless we do something. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. I just we gave you the chemicals. Well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Hmm. All right. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can try. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Uh, science. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the Hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! I know. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. I'm pretty great like that. Uh, engineering. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this <laughs> sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. <laughs> You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power. Nice Viking. Unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Um... All right, I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. Yes. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Uh, I want to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Mm hmm. People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2? Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> uh, should I expect resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. And you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system. But I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine, all right. Can we talk? So we're really going to do this? Yeah. I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. 
Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Yeah. Mmm. I'm not sure, but it's our best chance. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. I think this whole plan's insane. But it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Hmm. Hmm. It sounded better than being home alone on a Saturday. Uh, what about you? You're still with me. I'll do anything for a good story. And nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. But I asked you first. Uh, I'm not sure, Viking. I've only seen, like, a couple of episodes of that show. So I don't know a lot about it. Uh, uh, the people deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Yeah, I'm pretty amazing like Still, that. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? That is possible. Ah, uh, if they're half as capable as me, we'll be in good hands. This is why I like you, Captain. Mm. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Anything else? Hmm... We're tired and we've been chugging caffeine for a while, so let's see if we can uh, take a quick nap on the cot. <laughs> Casual, charming, self proclaimed yet still humble host. Come on, girl. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Don't care. All right. Uh... Okay. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Hope. Destination the Hope. Destination unknown. I notice you don't we have, have Neoka Blat in your seat. Reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect She's me to the Hope's comm system Ooh. so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Uh, what'll happen if I skip to the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash <laughs> oh the my God, her colony face. ship into Terra too, or the Sun. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, Wistful, I had to hey, use Ellie. To talk to you. Oh, oh my god, Felix, what do you want? I had to use Ellie for a mission, and then I found she had this really cool skill here. When Ellie's in the party, any damage that would kill you instead heals you for a small amount of health. This ability has a five-minute cooldown. So I gave her weaponry that's nearly on par with Nyoka Bliat, and... You know, then we've also got that second life thing. You know, they're going to make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of... Oh my gosh, job. Felix, dude. No, 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 wait, I got it. I really like earlier when we told someone that Felix was the most unreliable member of a crew that sailed on a ship called the Unreliable. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? The ship. Yeah, I get it. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I got it. Nothing gets past you, boss. In fact, I've been thinking about what we'd call our yeah, was he did. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. He was just like, "Don't do that again." Terrible. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. <laughs> That's a little harsh, but it's funny. 
Felix's adventures in shutting up and doing as he's told. Uh, I prefer the adventures of Muckluck and company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can't wait. I like your attitude, Felix. Enough to boost my pay? Eh, I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. I'm I'll sure you've got it. plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The Hope might have cameras. <laughs> oh my god. I am not taking you, you stupid idiot. The freaking dropkicks. Oh, man. Felix is a mod. Oh, gosh. Tiger Casual was telling us the other day that she had enough money to get, like, nine packs of ramen, and then she's out. I feel like, uh, she, would be, she needs to be first mod paid. She needs that ramen money bad. Uh, chocolate bar. There we go. She's rich. Hi again, Rooster. This is the hope, right? Entering quiet mode. Wait, they're not hostile. Workbench discovered. Wait, what's that? Okay. Ooh. How'd you do that so fast? I get that a lot. <laughs> he needs some milk. <coughs> this whole starving to death thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. On the upside, the bathrooms are the cleanest they've been since we left. It's made my job a hell of a lot easier. Thurston Stallworth, custodial engineer. What was back there? There was something over there I needed to click on. Ah, patch. And no one noticed that, right? Uh... Oof. Pending work orders. Macrowave short-circuited after some idiot left his fork on his plate. Chat, level 29. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. We can basically have Intimidate at 100. Ugh, Lie is one point away. Okay, we did a thing. Are y'all hostile yet? I didn't do nothing. Uh, they didn't level up, Tiger. Wait, I'm in costume right now. Why are they hostile? Mm. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. message exchange. It's nonsense. Okay. Hmm. Real flick. Thank you. Today I found a finger lodged in one of the security mechanicals. I caught the damn thing scratching up my floors because the finger was stuck in one of the leg joints and it couldn't move properly. This is getting ridiculous. A finger. Warning, uh, unauthorized access will result in immediate termination upon your arrival in Halcyon. Status. Current storage status nominal. Current pod count 9,999. Logs. Uh, da, da, da. Pod removal. Occupant. Mucklock! Uh, unknown. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Can't think of much worse than drooling on your pillow in front of a bunch of strangers. This was like the uh, room we were looking at when we created our character. An area sweep map intruder alert. Error. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. Hmm. Persuade. This statement is false. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Everything I say is false. Error. Paradox prevention has temporarily disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah, uh, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through spaces, I don't know if I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudge decimal point, one off by one miscalculation, we should crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of the colonists. They just never wake up. Uh, I've called you all here because the numbers on our rations are off. What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have it stashed somewhere. So, someone could have brought some from Earth. If they did, we need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us all. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership. It's about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. All right, all right. I want everyone to interrogate their crew, find out whoever's not eating their share, and bring them forward. Mag uh, Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left Earth, she was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me so that wherever we end up, I might start my own garden. Now buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it's something. I remember you every day, Mamachka, now more than ever. You can go the other way to reset, basically look for the restricted barrier signs. Uh, law helped me, it worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. Now, how the F do I break the news to the captain? Cap, wanted this on record. Sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? Don't need it. I don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you owned up to this, but you start eating your share. That's an order. All due respect, Cap. We're up shit creek. I'm not sure that's an order means a lot right now. It holds weight now more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, I ain't doing it. So either shove that shit down my throat yourself or give my leftovers to someone else. Okay... Route communications through the unreliable. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Oh, she insulted the Hope's processor chat. Uh, are we thirsty or sleep? We're thirsty. He needs some Would milk. Would you like me to play a mood suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. <laughs> logs. Begin audio logs. Is this thing working? I said audio. Dang it. This is uh, P. Wells. Yeah, let's go with that. What? 
War continues on test subject 112, retreat from Hibernation Bay 8, time of extraction, let's say two and a half hours ago, time of death, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists. Making a mockery of my procedures, I've tried every combination of every chemical available to me, attempted every variation of every possible thawing procedure, a gradual melt, a flash thaw, extremities first, brain first. I don't know how much more of this I could take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Test subject 112, real name Harley Stanton, age 39, enjoys singing. I'm sorry, Harley, I couldn't save you. Oh, snap. He didn't do all his testing on Sisty Pigs. Begin audio log as soon as I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on, make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, well, my frigid friend, you disobeyed the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Thank the law for disposable gloves. Steady now, steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. Who makes these anyway? Spacer's choice? All right, I got no choice. I'm going in. Ah. Oh. He dropped the scalpel inside the guy's stomach. All right. Man, Ada all up in the hope now. Just lock picking skills. Oh my goodness! That's a big boy. Woo! Not bad, huh? That's a big whatever that is. That is a lot of loot too. Big old sprat. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? You make it dirty, Sam cleans it up. Uh, how do I get up there? Hey, Burndy, what's up, buddy? We are sneaking around the hope. That's the hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Him? Oh my. He's gonna wake up all connected to this other ship? What's he gonna think? Auxiliary comms are available through the docking bay. Patch Ada through. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Uh, hang on, I need to take care of something. Wait, are you leaving me with the Hope's computer? You have no idea what it's like to converse with him. Imagine, simulate another organic jostling your circuits when he tries to... I mean, I'll be ready when you are, Captain. Uh, status, auxiliary power, logs, opening the door, Will, no, you're killing us, better you than the colonists, this is idiotic, if we don't keep the ship afloat, they die anyway, a necessary risk, Rezzy's plotting our corpse, the ship will fly true, you're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives, and you're handpicking which few you'll consume in your madness, damn it, Alexi, get me an effing drill. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Rezzy. I'll take care of it. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back, and they haven't used the drill, and I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true, Hope. So everyone on the ship died. Are you sufficiently prepared for the task at hand, Captain? Are we doing this now? All right, let's skip it. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Yeah, girl.
Give the hope. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? <laughs> that is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. <laughs> Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Holding on. Well, that wasn't too bad. Why are we pointed at the sun? Maybe we should turn away from the sun? And then Muckluck smashed into the windshield, splattered everywhere. Roll the credits. Oh, good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Did we move? I hardly felt a thing. Was that an attempt of humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. I mean, my cloak is going to wear off here. Did they notice me? <laughs> what sports? It's the thing where the guys wear the really tight pants and they swap each other's butts when they get excited. New Doritos flavor? No, that's Mountain Dew. Crap. Oh, nice. Didn't break a leg. <laughs> Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. <laughs> Carrying too many things. Stop. Those are the tips, Captain, Joe. I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you'll need to remember. I'm like parked right outside the board. here. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me. I'll never... My first thought is that he's being literal. Like, if they take their helmets off, they're actual pigs. Like, they're bioengineered cysty pig people. That's my first thought with that. It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? It's like in uh, XCOM. 
When you finally get the helmets off of those police officers and you find out they were aliens the whole time. Uh... May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. <laughs> Shut up. That, that hits too close to home. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Let's repair real quick. Hmm. I'm coming, Phineas! If the board were on Phineas's lab, they would have seen the hope pull in, right? Universal Defense Logistics Official Arrest Receipt. As per official arrest protocol outlined in Defense Logistical Incarceration Document A43.21-6, the individual who has been detained at this location must appear in an official Halcyon court at the appointed date and time with this paperwork in order to register that they are indeed properly arrested for crimes listed against their name. Failure to appear at the appointed date and time with this paperwork will result in additional late fees in the rescheduling of the prisoner's appointed incarceration registration date. Failure to appear at subsequent court dates may incur additional fees. Halcyon Court is not responsible for missed appointments that are a consequence of being held within a locked cell or other high-security containment location. Please note that this is the only copy of this receipt that you will receive, and this is your responsibility to have it with you when you appear at your registration session. They're on it. Oh my! 